But guess what my critics say? Imran says that they changed the Quran. This is what these pathetic, pathetic, pathetic critics say. They claim, I say the Quran has been changed. They have nothing else to respond. So they use this garbage. The one that I began, that the sign of all signs of the last day. But they say no. <laughs> He's the knowledge of the hour. I say you got trouble. When you say that Jesus alayhi salam is the knowledge of the hour, I say you got trouble. Oh, oh, we got trouble. We're in terrible, terrible trouble. And Allah says no. The knowledge of the hour is only with me. He doesn't have the knowledge of the hour. Muhammad does not have the knowledge of the hour. Only Allah has the knowledge of the hour. So this one is transparently, transparently false. That every single copy of the Quran you pick up today, they have put in. And he is the knowledge of the hour. When it should be, he is the sign of all signs of the hour. I've given you two instances where it's not the Quran which has been changed. Don't you make that mistake of saying that Imran has said someone changed the Quran because you should be, you should be thrown into a garbage bin for speaking such a falsehood about me. It's not the Quran which has changed. It is the diacritical marks, the fatha and the Kesra and the Dhamma, which were not there in the time of the Prophet There was no fatha and Kesra and Dhamma. It is when non-Arabs entered in the Ummah to help us to read the Quran, they put in the fatha and Kesra. So who put it in? The human beings put it in. And human beings can do good things and can also do bad things. There is a second reference to Darbatul Ard in the Quran, only two. The Darbatul Ard is a sign of the last day and that uh, they would either speak to mankind or damage mankind. The Arabic text can be read two ways. If it's being spoken, of course, we know exactly what it is. But when it's not spoken and it's written, then they put in these diacritical marks, Fatah and Kesra and Dhamma. And you can change it around because this didn't come from Allah. This is human beings. So they wrote it, the Dabbatul Ad to Kalimuhum would speak to mankind. And I said, I want to take that with a pinch of salt. Because I still have a mind with which to think. Speaking to mankind? The other one is taklimuhum, would un injure you, and damage you. I say, that makes more sense to me. So I have departed from this. <laughs> the overwhelming majority of the scholars of Islam and the Muslims accept that one. So they will have to solve their problem. I can't solve it for them. But because I accept that the Quran is saying that the Dabatul Al will damage you, this one makes a lot of sense. And the damage is already taking place. So I have departed from this. <laughs> the overwhelming majority of the scholars of Islam and the Muslims, because I still have a mind with which to think. I say you got trouble. Yes, we got trouble, trouble, trouble. Oh, yes, we got trouble. We got big, big trouble. We'll cheat. We'll cheat. I can't solve it for them.